All right, and how about this one? <clears throat> Uh, this chain has a tension of 20 pounds. Determine the magnitude of the moment of the force along the hinged, the hinged x-axis right here. So what's the moment about that axis? The magnitude of the moment about that axis. So I know it's moment about an axis, so I do uh, u dot r cross f. And then I kind of ask myself, okay, what, uh, what axis? So this is kind of the x-axis. So this would be the u of the x-axis. Hmm, let's think about that. Uh, this would be the r that goes from the axis to the force, and this is the force 20, but i got to break it in i's, j's, k's. That might be the hardest part about this problem, taking that 20 and breaking it into its components. All right, so here's my u. <clears throat> this is the u. <clears throat> what is the unit vector of the axis? What is the unit vector of the x axis. Do you already know that? If, if you didn't know it, what was our process? Our process was we kind of did r over r. This is definitely not necessary for this one, but kind of like an roc to roc. Um, or I guess I'm calling this point c right here. Um, so that axis, I, I, I could kind of think about it this way. It's kind of like a 5 in the i divided by its magnitude. Why did I divide by its magnitude? Because it requires a u, right? And u's, we divide by their magnitude so that they're unitless and dimensionless, or and unitless and magnitude of 1. This would be i. Did you already know that? Yeah, yeah. The unit vector of the x-axis is just i. And that's fine. And so what it's really asking for is, is, you know, what component of this moment is in the i direction. So you don't really have to do it my the way that I do all these. But I think my, our process works, and our process would be u dotting it with r cross f, and my u is just i. So if it asks for the magnitude of the moment about the y-axis, then my u would be j. If it asks the magnitude of the moment about the z-axis, my u would be k. This one asks the magnitude of the moment about the x-axis, my u is i. One i. Let me kind of clarify that, right? This is one i. All right, so, so there's my u. Uh, what is the r? <clears throat> I need an r that goes from the axis to the force. So I could go from uh, o to b, um, o to a, c to a, c to b, or, you know, I can go from anywhere on this axis to anywhere on the line of action of the force, I could go from about here straight up. I always choose the easiest R that you can, right? That makes the math easy enough. And so I'm just going to say 4 in the K is an R that goes from the axis to the force. Right? you got to go from the axis to the force. So, so there we go. That's my R. Now my force. My force, I, this is kind of given to me in dimensions, and that happens a lot. Make sure you can do dimensions for these 3D vectors. Uh, and dimensions, F equals Fu, where U is R over R. So here, uh, my force, written as a vector, would be 20 times so I need an R, not any of the, not this R, not that R, not any of the R's that I've already done. This is the R of the force, the line of action of the force. So it's kind of from B to A, from B to A. And so I just ask myself, how far does it go in the X? How far does it go in the Y? How far does it go in the Z? Uh, how far does that line of action go in the X direction? Well, it started right here at the YZ plane. It ended right here three feet in front of the YZ plane. That one was the easy one. It goes positive three in the X direction. How far does it go in the Y direction? Here's where it gets a little bit more tricky. Uh, do you see this door is three feet, but that's that dimension. Uh, it's kind of a little bit up here. Let's draw like a right triangle. It has a hypotenuse of three. What is this base right here? 3 cosine 20. And so that base of the door triangle, that would be the distance it goes back, back 3 cosine 20 in the J. Did you did you get that? And try this next one on your own before I 
tell you how how far does it go in the z direction how far how high does it go well we got to figure out it, it doesn't just go four up because it is already off the ground a little bit so it doesn't quite go four it's a little bit less than four how much less that much less this is three sine 20 so it goes up almost four but four minus three sine 20 that there we go. That would be the component in the k direction. All right. This value is 2.82. This value 2.97. And so divide by its magnitude. Why am I dividing by its magnitude? Because the equation uh, f equals f u. The equation calls for a u, and a u is an r over r. Um, and that's why we did not divide this one by its magnitude because the equation called for an r. That's why we did divide this one by its magnitude because the equation called for a u. I feel like I'm beating a dead horse, but um, that's a common mistake. Divide this, let's see, 3 squared, 2.82 squared, 2.97 squared. Take the square root. All right, let's see if you got this. 11.8 in the I, whoops, minus 11.1 .1 in the J, plus 11.7 in the K. All right, so now I've got all three of those. I can do my cross product. So my U would be, no, 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 sorry. My magnitude of the moment about the X axis would be my U R F, right? U R F. So this would be my U is is I, which is one zero zero. My R is four in the K, zero zero four. And then my force eleven point eight, negative eleven point one, eleven point seven, and do this. So this would be one times that minus four negative. 11.1 .1. and then this one times zero this one times zero uh, so really that's it the magnitude of the moment about the x-axis would be 44.4 pound feet right needs units leave the units as whatever the force units are and whatever dimensions units are Magnitude of the moment about the axis is 44.4. Now, let me just make sure it asks, did it ask for the magnitude or did it ask for the actual moment? Yeah, magnitude. So just leave it right there. I don't have to multiply it times. It's U. So there we go. All right. And then finally, I don't think I'm going to do this one for you in a video, but see if you can get this one. I feel like we've done enough videos. See if you get that the total moment, this doesn't ask for the magnitude of the moment, this asks for the moment as a vector. See if you can get 11.5 in the I plus 8.64 in the J with units pound feet. So try that one on your own. Double check me if I am wrong uh, with that problem. But this, These are moment about an axis there's my equation right there the magnitude equals u dot r cross f